Today, there is some new data from the State Department of Health showing that really a shocking number of COVID-19 deaths here in Western New York have happened in nursing homes. And this new data was released today to On Your Side, Steve Brown looking into it. The more we learn about the spread of COVID-19 inside nursing homes in Western New York, the more grim the news seems to become. And the latest data is frankly startling. This comes as of Sunday, according to the New York State Health Department. The figures suggest 288 COVID-related deaths in all eight counties of Western New York. Of that, 159 fatalities were nursing home residents. That's over half. Today, Governor Andrew Cuomo says he takes the current data on nursing home deaths with a grain of salt because they do include residents presumed to have had the coronavirus when they died. What can you do better going forward? I I don't know. It's something we're studying. What the state of Florida did last week was mobilize its National Guard, creating 50 strike teams to assist with COVID testing inside Sunshine State facilities struggling with virus containment. I think that's a fantastic idea. So, you know, last week I wrote the Department of Health and I asked them to put together a, a DOH strike team. Like we need to go figure out what's going on in those nursing homes. And is it staffing levels? Is it PPE? Is it problems with ventilation? But we need to flood in there and, and figure it out. Just yesterday, Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein disclosed the state health department was doing apparently what Ryan suggested, visiting Western New York nursing homes, helping with widespread testing, checking to make sure that staff had enough protective gear. But for 24 hours, the New York State Health Department has declined to say anything about this new initiative. And we asked Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who has a role in oversight with the state's response here in Western New York, and she declined to talk about this today. Well, coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, the nursing home that has had the most fatalities attributed to the virus. That's at 5 o'clock. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.